Welcome to Electron Online and another big mystery in the formation universe that people don't often talk about but something very well worth considering is the Big Bang and the entropy of the universe. So what we understand today with entropy is that in everyday uh, life of the universe so to speak we know that heat is always being transferred from places where it's hot to places where it's cold. For example, if you take a, uh, a bucket of hot water in one location and a bucket of cold water in another location and you provide a means in which heat can be transferred like a conducting rod, a piece of metal that connects the two places together, heat will indeed flow from the hot object to the cold object until the temperature is what we call the thermal equilibrium, until the temperature is reached the same between the hot and the cold and then the heat flow will stop. We understand that when this happens, entropy increases. Entropy is kind of a measure of disorder. The greater the disorder, the greater entropy. And in thermodynamics, disorder can be termed in, in terms of, is energy freely available? Are there hot places in the universe and are there cold places in the universe? And if there are, then heat can flow from the hot to the cold, and so therefore that's an ordered state. And when heat flows from hot to cold, that ordered state becomes more disordered. And when the heat is then equally divided between the two places, so no more heat can be exchanged, that's when you reach your highest disorder and your highest entropy. So through any thermodynamic process, basically through the exchange of heat, entropy increases. Of course, for the universe, most of the heat transfer is not along conducting rods. Heat transfer is mostly through radiation, for example, from the sun to the earth. The earth relative to the sun is cold, the sun is hot, so there's continual net influx of heat or energy flowing from the sun to the earth on a continual basis. Whenever this happens, entropy goes up. And so the way we can cal uh, calculate the change in entropy, by the way, S is used to denote entropy, is equal to the integral of the heat being exchanged divided by the temperature of which this happens. Since the, the Earth is at a colder temperature, that would be a smaller denominator, therefore a greater change in entropy. And since the hot temperature is a larger denominator, therefore a smaller change in entropy, that the heat being given off, which gives you negative entropy, and heat being absorbed, which gives you positive entropy, the positive is always bigger than the negative, and therefore the change in entropy is always greater than zero for all thermodynamic processes in the universe, bar none. So whenever heat is exchanged, entropy goes up. So the big question is if in the entire history of the universe entropy has been increasing, what happened at the early stages of the universe for entropy, for entropy to be in a low state? How does that happen? The only way to get entropy to be reversed is to put work into it. A certain amount of work has to be done for heat to flow from cold to hot. Like a refrigerator or an air conditioner will not work without plugging into the, into the electricity and let the motor do the work for you. So it requires energy, it requires work to make it go the other way. So how did the universe get to be at such a low entropy state? Because all we can see ever since the beginning of observation is that entropy has always been increasing, never decreasing. A big mystery for which we no longer, not yet have an answer but something to be considered when we talk about the beginning of the universe and the Big Bang.